Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Moe, and we're here today doing a bit of a Saturday morning live commentary. I really wanted to dive back into Titan Brawl before it went bye-bye. We really don't know what's going to happen with Titan Brawl. I know a lot of the community, many people in the community, myself included, Dino, uh, you know, we're really urging Respawn to keep Titan Brawl as an official mode and put it in private matches. I mean, we need more Titan modes. You know, we got these, you got like this group of the community that's obsessed with the pilot side of things. You know what? There's a bunch of us who really love the Titans, and we deserve to have some modes like Titan Brawl as full featured modes in the game. I really hope Respawn does that because I don't want to see Titan Brawl go away. It's been exceptionally fun and it's been a really great opportunity to really redefine my opinion on a lot of the Titans and their current position, uh, you know, in the meta to really look at them and to look at, oh, that guy's totally done. What are you doing, Northstar? You think you could rush your kind of ruin in his scorch over here, man? You got fire and you got the sword. You ain't gonna survive that, and this this tone is totally screwed back here. Um, what I also wanted to do today, though, since we've talked a lot about Titan Brawl already, was talk a little bit about Scorch, you know, sort of, uh... It's been a while. I did do a Scorch guide, and I feel that guide is still really well put together. But there's a lot of things I have to say about Scorch these days in terms of ways in which I'd like to see him improved or, you know, kind of buffed by Respawn. And more importantly, I think... That guy's so done. More importantly, I think, just a some, I guess, quick tips for those of you guys looking to see success with Scorch. You know, I've come to the conclusion, probably three months ago at this point, that we really need to look at the Titans as complementary to one another. You know, certain Titans filling in certain roles more effectively than others. I'm gonna go ahead and drop core on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't phase shift out of that. I think he took most of the damage. That's actually a really dope phase, but it looks like he got ejected anyways. Um, you know, uh, we just have to look at the Titans a little bit differently. The game kind of launched and respawn and portrayed the titans or the players at least we looked at the titans as being like oh they're just different titans but they should all be able to 1v1 each other we now know that's really not the case uh, titans have their strengths and weaknesses there are definitely hard and soft counters uh, and that's something you need to be aware of it's something that i think the newer players don't get which makes certain titans like ronin um you know and and legion and certain titans just more frustrating you know you really need to wrap your head around that and when you do, you can start to understand Titan composition, even in public play, and you can start to understand where certain Titans work better. So, let's talk a little bit about Scorch. You know, one of the things that I've really been thinking quite a lot about recently is Titan kits. Ah, oh, crap, what a waste of a core, guys. You know, we when we talk about Titan balance and, oh, we want this buffed and we want that buffed, we generally start to think about the actual abilities of the Titans, right? We don't get too caught up in the idea of their kits. That's something that I don't think... Uh, sees a lot of discussion. I myself have never really just talked about the Titan kits, and I think I should have, uh, because I think there's a lot of area for improvement within the kits themselves to buff up the Titans. And I think Scorch is a great, Scorch is a great example of that. You know, while there are certain things I'd like to see done to his core abilities, I think if we just take a look at the list of kits that he has and how, you know, ineffective some of them are when compared to others, there's obviously some changes and alterations that could be made there to make those kits more viable, more effective, and to give players more options. For how they actually play Scorch, you know, I think that that's a big deal. We're still gonna get the kill on that guy. I think. Walk into my fire. Walk into my fire, expensive elf. I'll show you who the expensive elf is. That's right. Not sure what that meant. So let's actually talk quickly about uh, about Scorch's kits. I'm currently running the boosted thermite, which I think is actually a pretty powerful kit. I like it. You know, you're gonna get extended damage on those big sticks and. When you're playing Scorch in more of a support role, sort of like a midline attacker, where you can back your team up with consistent fire damage, you can set up your traps to really, uh, you know, to sort of deflect any advances from the enemy team, I think that the Thermite Boost is super powerful. Now, a lot of people at the end of the day, when we talk about more solo-focused player, where you're just concerned about yourself and not really about supporting your team, you're going to run Thermite Shield, right? Thermite Shield is sort of the jam at this point in time. Uh, it's super powerful, especially against Ronins. But I, I don't think it's quite the end-all be-all. This guy's angry because I stole his kill. Really, dude? It's Titan Brawl, bro. And now look, you got executed because you're whining like a little girl. We're playing as a team, man. Get over it, yo. I, I hate that, you know? You'll never see me con complain about ki kills getting taken from me. Never. Not in a million years. This is a team-based game. We're on the same team. Get over it, man. That's all I gotta say. Man, people making, people making me salty on a Saturday morning. What are they doing? Outside of those kits, right, we've got Scorched Earth, which was one of the new kits that was just introduced. The idea that Thermite gets left behind when you drop your core. Uh, you know, I think one of the big issues with most of the other kits is that they don't really uh, play to the mobility factor of Scorch. Scorch is a slow Titan. 
You know, he can't really rush in and do like this suicide, you know, adventure with something like a uh, tempered plating. I don't really see the benefit of that ability. You know, I mean, it, it's it's like it's useful, but why would you want to use it over other abilities, right? That's the big thing that I have to say. Unfortunately, we got flanked by the North Star. There, well played, North Star. Why would you want to use it over other abilities, right? It does it does it isn't strong enough to warrant replacing something like Inferno Shield or like your wildfire boost for your thermite increase. That's the big thing, right? There's a lot of altercation between the different kits uh, based on how effective they are. So that's just I, you know, I guess I'd just like to see some of the kits reworked. You know, there's I like the idea of some of the kits, but I think all in all their effectiveness isn't as great as it should be. Um, you know, for example, we look at uh, fuel for the fire, the you know, our two-second cooldown reduction on the firewall. Throwing firewalls is great. Being able to stack multiple firewalls would be dope. You know, I just... Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think what I need to do is go back and spend a little bit more time with some of these kits. You know, for the most part, my guide, and I think, you know, Frothy's guide, pretty much anyone who's done a Scorch guide, we all kind of came to the agreement that Inferno Shield was like the bee's knees. And, you know, there really isn't a point in using anything else. But when you look at a game mode like Titan Brawl and, and LTS, you know, things start to change up a little bit. Again, we're not so focused on the individual side of thing. We're focused more on the team, the team play side of things. How can I support my team? Or how effective is this kit in an environment where I'm not alone, where I have other people supporting me? You know, that's the big thing. So this match is probably going to wrap up pretty quickly. This is, this is turn out to be a hell of a match, man. I know I've got some stolen kills people are going to be salty about, but I've been laying in the damage. And the fortunate thing is that we've had a reasonably well put together team here in terms of where everybody is position wise. I'm just going to get the quick kill on that guy. And we've got a pretty great comp. Uh, what I like about that when I'm playing a Titan like Scorch or, you know, North Star, somebody who can't really go it alone if I'm dealing with Tones and Ronins, is that I can kind of sit. Like I said, I can sit in the middle. You know, I can get that nice support going on. We can stack our damage. This guy, I'm gonna get the firewall on them too. He's got a nice firewall push though too as well. I don't wanna, I wanna get core on him, but I don't wanna stand in his fire. There we go. That's how you 1v1 with Scorch. Let me show you the way, expensive elf. Oh crap. Fortunately, I don't think we're gonna survive through this one. Probably gonna get executed, guys. It's all good though. So I talked about playing as sort of like a midline attacker slash defending role, right? So you can position yourself behind the heavy hitters like Legion and Tone, and that's going to protect you from other Legions and Tones, and potentially protect you from North Star shots. That's going to allow you to be in a situation where you can consistently deploy uh, Thermite damage, which is really important. That's going to let you get just lots of big assists, lots of big assistance to your team. And then if your team does get pushed, you can start to lay down your gas traps, and then you can go to your Inferno Shield, and you can play that defensive role, drop those firewalls, and really start to break up the enemy team. Let them soak in that flame damage as they try and get aggressive with your team. It's, you know, to me, it's like one of the best ways to play Scorch. It does require a team to support you. It requires a team that is, uh, you know, willing to get in there and do damage while the other team is sitting in your fire damage. But it's just, it's a great way to play Scorch, man. You don't have to play overly aggressive. A lot of people try and go in solo with Scorch, and I just, I really just don't recommend it. I, I don't think it's the best avenue, especially in Titan Brawl and LTS. Um, it doesn't make sense to just think you're going to be able to solo. Most of the Titans in the game are going to be able to shred you, and even with that boost on Inferno Shield, uh, you know, with your Firewall, it, getting that extra damage and duration, if you have a good Ronin player and they know how to use Sword Core, they're still going to be able to tear you apart. They're going to get the kill. You might be able to do a decent amount of damage to them, but they're going to shred you, which is why it's really important to recognize, again, your position on the battlefield of Scorch should be solely as a attack and defense support role, and you can obviously altercate alterate <laughs> alternate between attacking and defending depending on the situation there you have it guys just i just wanted to revisit the scorch it's been a while since i played him um i found that in titan brawl like scorch really starts to shine again as a support character so if you haven't given scorch a go inside of titan brawl get some friends who are willing to support you you know get some good titan comp uh i think tone and legion are great frontline um you know sort of attack and defend characters scorch sitting right behind them you got a north star and a ronin uh, playing, you know, more, uh, like, guerrilla tactics in the back end. To me, that's just, like, that's one of the best team comps I've seen in Titan Brawl. I've had the opportunity to run that with randoms a few times, and just... I mean, that's basically what we had in this match in terms of team comp, and we just, you know, we went to town. It was a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts, guys, on Titan Brawl. Uh, you know, it's been hanging around for a while now. If you've had more time to play it, I know a lot of people concerned about Titan stacking, but... 
it, I person it just hasn't been an issue for me. I played so many matches of it, and for the most part, our team can just counter whatever they they decide to stack. Um, although I think there is still a lot to be said for the idea of one titan per person. You know, it would completely change the meta, but anyways, different discussion for a different time. I hope you guys have a great week and a fantastic Saturday. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to play smart, remember to play to challenge yourself, but most importantly, remember to play for fun.